Hello, welcome to the sixth project meeting in Istanbul. I am Umran from Turkey. Here are seven students from different countries to have a form an hour, short movie called Tom Generation. Let me introduce them first. Valeria from Croatia. Lia from Germany. Karina from Portugal. Asil from France. Emmanuel from Italy. Alba from Spain. Let's start our form. What is meant by time generation in short film? Sorry. Okay. Hi. Um, before we were talking about this, and my friend said that we are hard time generation. I totally agree with him. We are in the middle. And um, you know, when I was younger, when I was six, and I was playing in the streets all the time. And now my sister and my cousin is playing all the time with the PC and the tablet. So I think um, the dumb generation is um, the younger generation, not not us. I I agree with you. And taking this short film into consideration, you can say that it shows right the film generation when they are at the cafe when they, they are all on the phone. But we should be speaking all together, I think. Yeah, uh, I agree with Alba. Uh, we are not the town generation. We are uh, just uh, in the age where uh, this uh, technology, computers, internet, uh, is not uh, so new. So we are used to it. Uh, we are uh, far less addicted to them because uh, we go out, we stay with friends, we talk with them. And uh, we spend just little time in uh, watching the phone or staying uh, um, with the computer. Um, I also think that uh, there are some particular cases in uh, where uh, there are people that are uh, really addicted to cell phones and to computers. But uh, we don't have to uh, make a stereotype of uh, all the younger generation. They are just some particular cases. Um, hello, uh, I agree with you and I just wanted to add that I think it's not only one generation who is the some generation um, because in the short film you could see that uh, also the parents or the father was more or less addicted to his phone so um, addiction to technology is also affecting other uh, generations. Uh, I think uh, Tom generation is a generation that prefers to be in touch by social media via smartfo uh, smartphones or PC. Uh, they just use their thumbs. Uh, they prefer writing messages than talking on the phone. Uh, well, I would like to refer to the film. Uh, we saw uh, how family uh, isn't together all, all the time because uh, father is all the time on the phone and the son and the mother is trying uh, to show her love through cooking a nice meal and she wants uh, them to eat together, to be together and uh, finally when they come uh, they, they are again on the, their cell phones and the uh, atmosphere is really uh, weird and uh, cold. And in the movie we can see that in the table they are not talking, they are, they are quiet and they don't talk anytime, they just eat and look at the phones. And then it's like if they were strangers living together. Next question. Why do your generation prefer immediate communication? Uh, I think that uh, our generation prefers immediate communication because uh, it's easier to talk with someone not face to face. So if you are a little bit shy or you don't feel confident with yourself, you will be not called sociable because uh, you were you will just. Uh, stay quiet and uh, don't speak with the others because uh, you are afraid of uh, what uh, you will say. Uh, yes, uh, we, or in our group, we uh, dis 
we thought the same. And uh, we also said that um, talking on media or social media is easier because you have or you can't show your real emotions. You have a lot of uh, emojis to show them, but you can easier lie and not tell the truth. Um, I would agree with them because uh, we can have double personality and have more time to think, as he said. I totally agree with what they just, they just said, but uh, I would like to add that um, mediated communication is um, has also a positive side because you can talk with someone else and send them pictures or video, and that I think it's a great, a great um, features of the great features of the mediated communication. Uh, I agree with them. Because it is an easy way to communicate. Uh, real communication expects a lot um, from you, such as time, affection, etc. Uh, I think uh, it is uh, very helpful to have uh, social media because, uh, in a way, you can sort out your feelings. For example, uh, I go to Tumblr when I'm sad, and I go to Instagram when I'm happy. So I can decide. Well, uh, I can uh, decide what my mood is and uh, sort out my feelings. What can we do to make better use of social media settings? I think uh, we need more security. But apart from that, I just want to say that um, social media are good at the moment. We just have to learn and uh, how we can use it. Um, I totally agree with her. We cannot make anything to the to the social network. We only have to learn to use it better. I, I think we should not share so much our private life. Um, what I think what is also a big problem is that. Um, uh, there's not only one social media, some people have a lot of them and they say I go and check my social media and they need half an hour to do this. There are lots of uh, social networks uh, in which you can post photos. There is Instagram, there is a Tumblr, there is a Flickr also and uh, Instagram and Flickr are quite the same. So I don't see the point in uh, having different social networks that are actually the same, it's useless for me. Uh, for example, my Croatian friends and me, when we are in a group, uh, we have a deal that uh, uh, phones are not allowed. Uh, we just hang out because we don't want to lose time that uh, we have together. We want to uh, take most of it. Um, yes, you know, in, when we are eating, so many families use the mobile and I think that it's horrible. We have to, to separate um, social media that real life and, and that's all. Thank you for uh, your attention and the great discussion. We had a, a very good time in Turkey. Uh, in the name of all groups we would like to thank uh, our lovely host, we were feeling wonderful here in Turkey. Thank you very much.